ready. Come on. Feel it coming in the air. Yeah. And the screams from everywhere. Yeah. I'm addicted to the thrill. It's a dangerous Sorry. love affair. Can't be scared when it goes down. Well, a very good evening to you all, and welcome to Chaska Basketball Reports coverage on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network of High School Basketball. Tonight we join you here live from Chaska High School at the self-proclaimed Hawks Nest for high school basketball between Class 4A, number 9, Chaska, and the visiting uh, Class 3A, number 6, Orno Spartans. The Hawks come into the game with a 9-2 and record overall of the, Del or the Orno. Spartans come in at a 6-5 and five record overall, and they feature Jarvis Thomas, the 6'8 senior, who f averages 18 points or 19 points per game, and it will be headed to the University of Minnesota following his high school career. Thomas scored a season-high 28 points in Monticello earlier this year and is coming off a 19-point performance in uh, Hopkins in a loss. Delano is uh, on a three-game skid right now. As I said for Jarvis, who just got introduced, uh, Omersa, he goes by 12.4 uh, rebounds a game and is good for 3.5 assists per game. For Chaska on the other side, they'll feature Cole Nicholson, the 6'5", uh, junior rather, who uh, came off a season-high 32 points in a win over Delano just on Tuesday night. Uh, Chaska also features Parker Bjorklund, who is on the floor uh, to start the game. Had a season-high 23 against Delano in the win last Tuesday. An 84-83 victory over a very good Delano team. The Hawks won that one. When we return here from Chaska High School, we'll bring you live exclusive coverage of Chaska Hawks basketball on the London Chevrolet View Chaska Hawks broadcast network. We're glad you've joined us. From Max Hannity and Andrew Newman and Ryan Paul, I'm looking forward to bringing you coverage of tonight's matchup. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Lenz and Chevrolet Buick is a family-owned business 
proud to service the Chaska area for the past 35 years. We sell both new and used cars. We got a complete service department with a body shop full service. We believe in community. We support the churches, the schools, the Lions Clubs, the Chamber of Commerce, you name it. We're proud to be a community leader. So Welcome to Chaska High School once again for tonight's exclusive coverage of Chaska and Orono in high school basketball. Ryan Paul with you here. We're glad you've joined us tonight for exclusive coverage of the Spartans and the Hawks. We're just about getting ready to tip things off here from Chaska. Jarvis Thomas and Parker Bjorklund in the circle for their respective teams. The 6'8 Bjorklund, or the 6'8 Omersa against Bjorklund who stands at a shorter 6-3. Orno wins it back. The starting guard tonight for the Spartans is 5'11 senior Colton Kadut. Wearing number three. Comes off a ball screen. Elias and guards Kadut. Now he steps inside. Kicks it on for number 13, Thomas Lacey. Now it's Thomas, who we mentioned in the pregame show. Averages 19 points a game. Signed with the University of Minnesota. He goes against Cole Nicholson here. Misses the original shot. Goes back up with it. And the first points of the basketball game are from Jarvis Thomas. Or El Elmersa, excuse me. Recently changed last name. This is Connor Krenos. Crosses the timeline. Gets it back. Now passes it over for Marcus Peters. Krenos the junior. Running the one this evening. Here's a three ball from Cole Nicholson. And he drains that one. Chaska takes a one point lead. Here's Eliason guarding Kadut in the backcourt. 3-2 basketball game here. Just under a minute in here. Here's Thomas. Enters the paint against Nicholson. Missed it. Cole Nicholson comes away with the rebound. Chaska's leading scorer had a season-high 32 in Delano on Tuesday night. As we go under 17 minutes to play here. This is Peters down low on the baseline to Bjorklund. Now Peters has it back up top. Skipped pass, and here comes Omeris off the steal. He can throw it down. Now he steps inside, goes off the window, and Delano regains the lead. Omersa has all four of Delano or of Orno's points this evening. Cole Nicholson, the only three for the Hawks so far. 3-4 with 13, 16 and a half to go from Chaska High School. Ryan Paul with you here. Here's Bjorklund off the assist from Nicholson. Bjorklund missed the original one. Goes back up with it, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line for a pair. Foul's going to go against Omersa of Orno. It'll be his first, and if Chaska can get Jarvis Omersa in foul trouble, that'll be huge for the Hawks. 4-3 to three basketball game, 16-22 to play in the first half. Omerisa, as we mentioned, headed to the University of Minnesota. He's a senior and is signed with Richard Patino's staff, who are on a skid like Orno. Orno lost three in a row, and the Gophers not playing particularly well lately. Bjorklund goes over two at the free throw line with 16.20 to go, and Orno comes away with the rebound. Colton Kadut, 15.7 points per game. Also has 7.8 assists per game, a team high. Here's Thomas Lacey. Now it's over for Omerisa. Swung around, Griffin Sage has it up top for Blake O'Connor, the final Spartan to round out the starting lineup this evening. Down low, a block by Parker Bjorklund off Blake O'Connor. The 6'3 forward, a uh, junior, is number 33, Blake O'Connor. Here's Nicholson with just under 16 to go. Here's a Krenos long ball. This is from long range, no good. Krenos didn't shoot well at all in Delano on Tuesday night. Trying to pick up the slack here tonight. It's still a 4-3 to three basketball game. Del Orno with the lead. Orno ranked number 6 in Class 3A. The Hawks number 9 recently fell one spot in Class 4A. The polls released earlier today. Fifteen twenty to go. Sorry, we're working out some brief technical difficulties on our side of things. Colton Kadut has it. Now it's Jarvis Omersa down low. Omersa lost it down low, but Blake O'Connor recovers, spins it around, and in for two. Six to three. Dellen or Orno rather with the with the lead. Fifteen minutes to play from the Hawks nest. Chaska and Orno here for the first time. These teams met. 
exactly one year ago yesterday. Nicholson to the high of the back pass. Went out of bounds. Bjorklund wasn't ready for it. Went right through the five hole. This is Kadut in the backcourt. Guarded by Eliasson. 14.45 to go. Omersa back to Kadut. Kadut throws a lob to Omersa who throws that right down. Jarvis Omersa, the first of, I'd imagine, of many dunks we'll see tonight. 8-3. Here's Nicholson now over for Krinos. Back to Peters. Up top, Marcus Peters, the senior, gives it over for Nicholson. Another three ball. It's good. Jaska within two. Nicholson's up to six. Here's Kadut from the elbow, and he drains that one. Delano, or Orno rather, a 10 to 6 lead. Now it's Peters over to Nicholson from the Hawk. This would be for nine, and it's good. Cole Nicholson. Three three pointers. All of Chaska's points, and Chaska's within one. Nine points for the Chaska Jr., who's coming off of a career or season high 32 against Delano. He's averaging 22.5 a game. A three ball from Omerso is no good. Nicholson the rebound. Here's Peters over now into the corner for Eliasson. Peters back up top. Finds Krinos now to Bjorklund in the corner. Looking for an option. Now it's swung around all the way for Peters. A three. Good. Chaska's on fire. The Hawks take the lead. 11 to 10. Or 12 to 10 rather. 13 12 to go. Hawks up two. This is Omerisa at the point. Now he enters the paint against Nicholson. Goes off the window. It's going to trickle in for two. Tie basketball game. 13 minutes to play here. Carino's coming down the other way. Carino's the junior at the point. Carino's averaging 10 flat through 11 games. Now it's off for Peters. Spot up. This one's long. A little bit trigger happy there from Peters. But Yorkland. Keeps it in. Now with 12.41 to go. It's still a 12-12 basketball game. Orno with a chance to take the lead here. Omersa lets the pass go through to Thomas Lacey. He gets it back up at the key here. Now it's off for Kadut. Kadut takes the lane. Had it blocked away. Matt Eliasson comes away with the rebound. Or the steal, whatever you want to call it. Here's a Connor Crino's head fake. Puts it in. Floater alert. That one was a bit too strong. 12.22 to go here. Still a tie game at 12. Some excitement so far. This is Omersa. Spin move against Nicholson. Nice move. Travel not called. 33, or it's 14 12 here with 12.05 to go. The Hawks fans want a travel call. I think they might have a case, but nothing happened. Here's 14 12. The score with just under 12 minutes to play. Here's a long one from Nicholson. It's good. Cole Nicholson isn't missing. 15 14 Hawks lead. Cole is perfect four for four from the field, or from three-point line. Here's an ugly three ball from the fingers of Blake O'Connor. Offensive rebound by Colton Kadut, though. Here's Eliasson clamping down Kadut. Chaska fans appreciating that defensive effort. Matt Eliasson known for his defensive abilities. They call him Matty Clamps for a reason. Here's Kadut, still locked up by Eliasson. Now a 10-footer jump shot. Good from Griffin Sage. Averaging just under 10 points a contest. Puts Orno back up top by 1. 11.07 to go here. Glad you've joined us on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick. Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Ryan Paul along for the ride here. We'll see the first substitutions of the game at the next dead ball. It'll be Zach Lee and Spencer Getz entering for Chaska. We'll also see a change for Orno. This is Nicholson. Takes the lead back for Chaska. 10.48 to go. The Hawks with a one-point advantage on Orno. This is Sage running the one for Orno this evening. Eliasson works through a ball screen. Now he comes back up top to guard Sage. Another screen set by O'Connor. This is a 15-footer from Sage. It was too long. Rebound to Yorkland for Chaska. Just under 10 and a half to go. Nicholson's going to try it again. It is good. Nicholson, five for five from three-point range. Hawks lead 20 to 16. Paul Nicholson lighting it up from beyond the arc. 15 points from three-point range. 
A missed shot down low. Bjorko took a foul. Griffin Sage getting a call for this hack. And it'll go Chaska's way with 10.06 to go here in the first half. Substitutions on the floor with 10.06 to go here. We'll see senior Andrew Fix and sophomore Zach Lee and freshman Spencer Getz on the floor for the first time tonight in the Hawks donning the all purple uniform. Playing at home for the first night of the 2018 year. Nicholson is unbelievable. Six for six from beyond the arc. He cannot miss. 23-16. The score, 9.40 to go. Chaska up on Delano, or Orno. Now a foul. Matt Eliason tried to steal it away from Omerza. Got called for reaching in. It'll be Eliason's first foul of the game. Eliason's first. It's also the first on the Hawks. Eliason known for his scrapping ability. Now a push going to be called against Fix for Chaska, the senior. First time he's seen the... Scorebook tonight. It'll be on a foul. Second one for Chaska this evening. Hope you're enjoying this exclusive coverage of high school basketball on the lens in Chevrolet View. Chaska Honks Broadcast Network. Visit us online at ChaskaBasketballReport.com. Jarvis Omeyer's not call for the travel. Another turnover. Remember, you can watch our hockey team playing in Jefferson right now. Watch both of our games live online at ChaskaBasketballReport.com slash live. Here's Fix. Catches it. Gives it off for Nicholson, who's going to drive inside. Nicholson had a shot blocked. Orno's going to come away with it. But Chaska snaps for it back. Gets back off for Leah. Leah elected not to go with the shot. Now Gets off the window. His first two points of the game. Spencer Gets, the freshman, averaging a half a point a game. Gets his... Two points to start off his evening. 8.58 to go. Thomas swings it around now. Griffin Sage with it. Off now for Mitchell Hirschberg. First time we've called his name tonight. Now Marissa loses it. Nicholson with the pickpocket. 8.45 to go. Nicholson, 6 for 6 from 3 ball range tonight. Chaska up by 9. Now it's a scrap and it's going to go Delano, or Orno's way rather. It's going to be a foul on either Fix or Getz. Chaska and Delano tempers flaring a little bit here. A lot of energy in the gym tonight from Chaska High School. A lot of adrenaline on the basketball floor. You can tell already we've had a yam by Jarvis Omerso. We've had six three-pointers off of the hands of Cole Nicholson. And that has led us to a 25-16 game here with just under six and a half to go. Here's Omerso taking the baseline. Ball batted away. Chaska with the steal. Getz up ahead now. For Leah, Cole Nicholson takes the paint. Nicholson against Omerza, block. Colton Knut's going to come away with this one. A fast break for the Spartans. He goes behind the back, traveled, no whistle again. Here's a three from Griffin Sage. It's off, rebound, Zach Leah for Chaska. Hawks are going to push now. Nicholson up ahead with it. Hesitated, now he pulls out, gives it for Leah. Crino's going to check in at the next whistle. Ford the Hawks. Here's Fix over for Leah now. A lot of intensity in the gym tonight. Nicholson from 18. It's off his first miss of the night from the field. Eliason tipped it out of bounds. He falls to the floor. Gets quick to help him up. 7.47 to go. Connor Crinos will check back in here. The Hawks with a nine-point lead on the Orno Spartans. See Simon Rice for the first time tonight for Orno. 2.1 points per game. Season high 11 versus Walden Grove. They played a team from Arizona. Walden Grove. They played him in a tournament earlier this year. Orno, as I said, on a three-game losing streak. They're 6-5 and five coming into the night. Lost to Minnehaha Academy, a 2A top-10 team. Mankato East and Hopkins, a top-10 4A team in their last three matchups. The Hawks coming off of a victory in Delano, a hard-fought one against the Tigers. Coming away with a one-point advantage in that one. Nicholson and Bjorkman both had career nights. We saw Delano's Calvin Wishart have a Season, uh, his third season, or his third 44 point performance of the season, he had 43 in the loss. This is Colton Cadoon from the elbow. He gives it off for Omerza now. He's going to pull up. Nicholson not even bothering to guard him, but Omerza makes him pay. 
and pulls Delano or Ornell. Goodness, within six. Six fifty to go. Hirschberg guards Crino's in the backcourt. Crino's in the back now. Swung around to fix. This is Getz in the corner. Back to Nicholson. Nicholson takes the paint. Blew right by Simon Rice. The lanky 6'5 junior forward, number 10 in white. And the Hawks have a 27-19 lead. Again, glad you've joined us here. Remember to visit us online. Watch our hockey team playing in Bloomington right now at ChaskaBasketballReport.com. Crino's the rebound off the Rice mix. Nicholson has it. Here comes Omersa. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to give a bounce pass off for Kadut. Crino stopped up Omersa so he couldn't get a dunk off. Now uh, Leah guarded in the backcourt. Fix has it now. Fix in trouble. Has to give it off. He finds Leah. Timeout called by Dana Common. We'll go to break for the first time tonight. The Hawks with a 27-21 lead on uh, Orno here with just under six minutes to go. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Lens and Chevrolet Buick is a family-owned business. Proud to service the Chaska area for the past 35 years. We sell both new and used cars. We got a complete service department with a body shop full service. We believe in community. We support the churches, the schools, the Lions Clubs, the Chamber of Commerce, you name it. We're proud to be a community leader. So Welcome back to Chaska. We've got a ball game. Just under six minutes to go in the first half. It's a 27-21 lead for the Hawks. Brian Paul with you here on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Here's Zach Lee with 5.50 to go now. Nicholson's going to spot up. He misses for the first time tonight from beyond the arc. Now Marcus Peters gets the rebound, dishes it around, and Nicholson finds it once again. He takes the paint, going to go in. Bjorklund high off the glass over Jarvis Omerza. Nice shot on the layup from Parker Bjorklund. Assist goes to Nicholson. It's a 29-21 advantage for Chaska. Nicholson having that first miss of the three. It resulted in two points for Chaska, though. Here's a steal by Eliason, but he's called out of bounds. Substitution. We're going to see number 33, Blake O'Connor, check back in. So... He comes back, the 6'3 forward, junior in his Orno High School career. Here's Omerza quickly catching the inbound pass. Guarded double team by Bjorklund and Eliason. Bjorklund giving him trouble, but he's simply too tall. And Jarvis Omerza, two points. 29-23 to go here. 5.08 to go. Here's Eliason now over to Peters on the hawk on the floor. Nicholson coming off the bench with a bloody nose. He's got some cotton in his nostril. The reason Nicholson is not on the floor. Here's Getz. He needs to enter for Bjorklund. Bjorklund going against Simon Rice. He puts it up. He misses it though. But Eliason's there for the putback. That one's also missed. Bjorklund skies for the rebound. Tries again. No good. He's going to come away with it. He's going to be called for a travel. Bjorklund took a couple too many steps. And that is the reason for the travel. He scrapped for it. The Hawks had about three offensive rebounds on that possession with 4.39 to go here. Update from Bloomington on hockey. The Hawks down one nothing to Jefferson in the first period. The Hawks not exactly playing their best hockey right now as Omerza goes up and is fouled. He'll get a chance for a three-point play. As I was saying, the Chaska hockey team is shorthanded a little bit with some suspensions. They've had some injuries and illnesses. So they are shorthanded. Lost 7-1 the other night to uh, St. Louis Park. And they're down one nothing early here to the Jefferson Jaguars. You can catch that game live online on our Chaska Hawks broadcast network. Go to ChaskaBasketballReport.com to watch both of our games here. Out of this doubleheader. Here's Almeris at the line. He misses. Nicholson re-enters. Matt Eliason snatches the rebound for Chaska. It'll be Zach Lee who brings it up the floor for the Hawks. He swings it over for Peters. 
Peters guarded now by Mitchell Hirschberg. Here's Zach Leah. He's going to spot up a long one. That one's good. Zach Leah for three with just over four minutes to play in the first half. Here comes Hirschberg quickly down the other way. Lion, or Peters took a charge. Now a three ball from Nick Prentice is good. First time we've called Nick Prentice tonight. He has three points out of that long ball. Here's Peters from about eight feet. It is going to be on the floor. I believe they're going to get Parker Bjorklund for a push. Nope, they're going to get Mitchell Hirschberg for the push. It's a foul on Orno. Third team foul on Orno. Hirschberg's first. Chaska with four fouls. This is Eliason now. He gives it off for Nicholson, who's lost the cotton of his nose already. Now he gives it away for Eliason. Mishandled it. Eliason quickly back with it. Here's Leah now back over for B. Yorkland. 3.25 to go in the first half. Ryan Paul with you here on the Shaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Brought to you in part by Lens and Chevrolet Buick. This is a floater from Parker Bjorkland. The left-hander is good. Chaska up. 34-28 here with just over three minutes to play in the first half. Here's Omerza. Going to take the paint. Drive inside. He's called for a travel. Well, Nicholson doing a good job of locking down Jarvis Omerza. Omerza couldn't get much going in the game last year. They played, as I said earlier in the telecast, one year ago yesterday. Much of the same conditions outside. We had a... A, a large snowstorm rolled through the metro area here in the outskirts of Minneapolis, St. Paul. And Orno, which is about 30 minutes north. Uh, last year we had much of the same in the blizzard conditions. Here's Bjorklund down low. Up and good for two. Bjorklund's up to six. A whistle. We're going to get a delay a game, I believe, warning against Parker Bjorklund. I believe that's what was called. There's no foul for that. It's just a warning or an infraction. So Orno here with 2.36 to go. Down by 8 to Chaska. This is Colton Kadut, starting guard this evening, wearing number 3. This is Omerisa from long range. It's just off. The second miss. He's 2 for 3, or 1 for 3 from beyond the arc tonight. This is Leah, the sophomore for Chaska. Gives it off to Nicholson. Spins away from defense. Now he gives it off for Peters. Marcus Peters the senior for three. It's long. Rebound Omerza. Crosses over. Crosses the timeline now. Omerza swings it around now. Nick Prentice. Lob pass into the corner for Kadut. Kadut's going to spot up a three ball right in front of the Chaska students. It's do no good. Rebound down low. Mitchell Hirschberg comes away with it. Kadut's going to head fake. Try it again. Now he throws it out of bounds. Chaska ball. No Orno ball. Got tipped out of bounds. Connor Crino is going to return for Chaska. Marcus Peters will be subbed out for Dana Coleman and staff. Coach Dana Coleman in his 13th year at the helm for the Chaska Hawks. Coming over from Edina. And now an issue on the floor. Not sure what's going on. I believe we have a timeout or some blood on the floor. It's, yep, it's blood on the floor. That's what it is. We're going to go to break here on the London Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. As uh, Assistant Athletic Director Lisa Knudsen comes out and tries to clean up the blood. We'll be right back on the London Chevrolet Buick Chance Cox Broadcast Network. Don't go anywhere. This presentation of high school basketball on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network is brought to you by Lenzen Chevrolet Buick, Above and Beyond Marketing Communications, and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab. There's a better, brighter day ahead for patients who visit St. Francis Rehabilitative Services. Our wide-ranging, innovative, and compassionate care offers adults and children the services and support that inspire them to a higher quality of life. Among our services is our comprehensive sports medicine program, specializing in preventing, diagnosing, and treating sports-related injuries. We are the exclusive provider of the Chaska, Chanhassen, Jordan, and Shakopee High Schools. Helping you return to the activities that fuel your passion. St. Francis Rehabilitative. Welcome back to Chaska High School. Ryan Paul with you here for live coverage. With uh, just under two minutes to play, we've got the blood removed from the court. Not sure 
who it came from. But as I say that, it's Blake O'Connor burying one from downtown for Orono. It's a 36-31 lead for Chaska. This is Krenos guarded by Hirschberg. Or Prentice, rather. Krenos blows by him, finds Bjorklund. Bjorklund down low. Gives it off for Nicholson. Here's a long one. It's good. Cole Nicholson still lighting it up from beyond the arc. Seven for six for Cole Nicholson. Or seven. Seven for eight for Cole Nicholson from beyond the three-point line tonight. It's a 40 or 39. 31 lead for Chaska with 1.14 to go here. A steal by Matt Eliason. He comes away with it and it's foul. It's going to go against number 33, Blake O'Connor. The 6'3 junior forward called for the foul. Fourth team foul against Orno. First and one against O'Connor. With a minute and 10 to go in the first half here. We're glad you've joined us. Exactly across the timeline here. It's Nicholson who's gotten the piece of cotton or tissue back in his nose, his left nostril, which is probably the source of the blood that was on the floor earlier. Matt Elias lost the handle on it. It goes out of bounds. It'll be Orno ball. 52 and 8 tenths of a second remain here. In the first half. Just about 7.30. We got this game going early. It's been a 21 minute first half in clock time. This is a foul, yes, it's finally called against Omerza. He came in and flew, he flew right in, he made contact with Cole Nicholson. Omerza called for a second foul, the fifth against Orno. And we're gonna get a sub. Omerza gonna check out and see the bench for the first time, I believe, tonight. Omerso, the 6'8 senior for Orno, headed to the University of Minnesota. After his high school career ends, here's Zach Lee with 30 seconds on the clock. 39 31. Elias in here with 25 and counting. Leah now slows it up. Fox going to hold. With Omerso out of the game, Chaska can try to take advantage of the advantage that they have size wise. 10.6. Lee needs to get it going here. He gives it off for Kredos. Now they're going to swing it around. A foul. And we're going to stop the clock with 5.9 to go. It'll be Nick Prentice. The guilty party. Push Matt Eliason. Sixth foul. Against Orno. 5.9 to go. Chaska sets it up. Eliason inbounds for Nicholson. With four seconds. Three seconds. He crosses over. Pulls up from NBA range. Misses. Bjork on there for the rebound. Got a lot of contact. And now as time expires, head coach for Orno, Barry Wohler, is livid with the officials. It's a halftime lead for Chaska on the number six team in Class 3A. The Hawks have a 39-31 advantage. Barry Wohler still giving it to the official as we go to break. We'll be right back with more from Chaska High School. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. This presentation of high school basketball on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network is brought to you by... Lens in Chevrolet Buick, Above and Beyond Marketing Communications, and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab. Lens in Chevrolet Buick is a family owned business, proud to service the Chaska area for the past 35 years. We sell both new and used cars. We got a complete service department with a body shop full service. We believe in community. We support the churches, the schools, the Lions Clubs, the Chamber of Commerce, you name it. We're proud to be a community leader. So a better, brighter day ahead for patients who visit St. Francis Rehabilitative Services. Our wide-ranging, innovative, and compassionate care offers adults and children the services and support that inspire them to a higher quality of life. 
Among our services is our comprehensive sports medicine program, specializing in preventing, diagnosing, and treating sports-related injuries, helping you return to the activities that fuel your passion. St. Francis Rehabilitative Services, with clinic locations in Chaska, Shakopee, and Savage. Schedule an appointment today. of high school basketball on the chess
Welcome back to Chaska High School for the second half of action. Let's run down here. The matchup that we're looking at, it's at the ha at half, it's 39-31. We're just about ready to get going in the second half. Tail of the tape this evening coming into this one. The Hawks win, or winning right now, but they come into the game with a record of 9-2 and two overall, scoring just under 70 points a game. Uh, or no, not as good of a record, but they're scoring even closer to 70 points a game. The last meeting these teams, the two teams had was in Orno one year ago yesterday. The Hawks won that one by two points. Nicholson had 13 for Chaska, and then Jarvis Thomas had 16 for the Orno Spartans. Let's look at the top 10 now in Class 4A. Obviously, De uh, Orno this evening, the opponent for Chaska is in Class 3A, but the newest rankings out of uh, Minnesota Basketball News uh, has Creighton, Durham Hall, Hopkins, Lakeville, North Eden Prairie, and Apple Valley all staying uh, at the same end as last week. Osseo jumps up to number six in the poll, or un was unranked as of last week, and then everybody else has kind of jumped back down. Park Center, Dinah, Chaska, and John Marshall round out the top ten. Those rankings provided by Minnesota Basketball News. And as we get ready to go to come back here, Chaska and Orno for the final 18 minutes of play in this basketball game. Ryan Paul with you. Hope you're enjoying our exclusive coverage of high school basketball. Jarvis Thomas had 17 in the first half for Orno. And for Chaska, Cole Nicholson had 25. Was 7 for 8 on three-pointers. Hit his first six from beyond the arc and will come into the second half as the leading scorer. Chaska will go with their same starting lineup as they did the first half, as will the Orno Spartans, under the direction of Barry Wooler. Right in front of us, it'll be Matt Eliason, inbounding for Chaska on this second half. Greenos will catch it to the backcourt. The Hawks working left to right across your screen this evening. Glad you've joined us at ChaskaBasketballReport.com. Remember, watch our boys' hockey team also live tonight. This is Peters from Three Ball Range. It's no good. Goes out of bounds. We'll see who they give it to. It's going to go in favor of Orono. But as I was saying, the boys' hockey team tied up with Jefferson after one period. Mike Kester, uh, or excuse me, Rhett Pillick, has the only goal for the Hawks this evening. Assist from Mike Kester and Will Magnuson. You can catch that one and this one both live online at ShaskaBasketballReport.com. Say, fans, once as we say that, where are you watching from this evening? Tweet us a picture of your viewing setup. Hashtag CHBN. As Orno gets a bucket and pulls it back 39-34 with 17-24 to go. Here's Dickelson. Again, remember to follow me on Twitter, at RyePaul21. This is Bjorklund now. Off the offensive rebound. It's going to be swung over for Nicholson from three. No good. Rebound, Omersa. There comes Kadut now. The second highest leading scorer on this Orno roster. Ta uh, Jarvis Omersa leads with 19.2 as of last night, and then Colton Kadut up, bringing up second with 15.7. No Max Bjorklund tonight. He's on the bench in a shooting shirt. He's averaging 14.7 points per game and is coming on, or would have been coming off a 19 point game against Hopkins. But he sits on the bench. He's just to the, he's the first one on the bench there to the right of their coaching staff. He was the one who kind of picked Chaska apart last year, even though the Hawks came away with the victory. Max Bjorklund out this evening with an undisclosed reason. With 16 and a half to go, this is Jarvis Omerza. He's going to kick it out now for Colton Kadut. Kadut into the corner for Thomas Lacey. That one swung back around for Griffin Sage. Sage enters, swings it back around for Kadut now. Kadut lost his footing, guarded by Eliason. Here's Omerza inside, high off the window. No good, gets his own rebound. Now it's poked away from him. Orno gets the rebound. Here's Thomas Lacey in the corner. And that's buried. Thomas Lacey makes it a 41-37 ball game. Six minute, 16 minutes and change. Connor Krenos brings it up. Lob pass for Bjorklund. He's in trouble on the baseline. Now he's got to get rid of it. Finds Nicholson, who swings around to Krenos for three, and it's good. Connor Krenos for three. Good to see Connor Krenos hit one. He struggled in his last couple matchups shooting from beyond the arc, but he was able to get one here early in the second half. 15-42 to go. It's a 44-37 game. Jarvis Omerza inside. Offensive foul. That's three fouls on Omerza. Big development there for Chaska and Orno here. Jarvis Omerza, up. Number 11 in white. Three fouls. Nicholson's 
Going to go right at him. It's Jarvis O'Meara's guarding him in the backcourt. Now it's a foul, and Mickelson was hit on the arm as he attempted to make an above-the-head pass. Thomas Lacey gets his sec first foul of the evening. The second of the half on Orno. Chasky yet to commit a foul in this half. Chaska swinging around here, slowing things up. The clock's running with 15 12 to go in the second half. Matt Elias and stands at the key now, waits for someone to come guarding. Kadut comes after him now. It's Krenos who has it, makes a move. Now they're going to pick it up. Nicholson has an open three ball. Drains it. Beautiful basketball from Chaska. Head coach Barry Wooler displeased with his defense there. Jarvis Thomas got drawn off of Nicholson, and he had a wide open three ball and hit it. Matt Eliason. Eliason, one of the premier defenders in the state, definitely up for all defensive state team in the MSHSL. Here's out of bounds. It's going to go in favor of Orno. I think it did tip off of Marcus Peters or Parker Bjorklund down there. A 10-point lead for Chasky here with 14.37 to go. Thanks to Jim Perrone for tuning in tonight. Hashtag CHBN on Twitter. Now Omeris has stepped out of bounds. He's displeased with something. And as that, as he complains, he's called for stepping out of bounds. Cole Nicholson really working against Jarvis Omerza. Now Nicholson inbounds back to Krenos. 14.35 and running in the second half from the Hawks Nest. At Shaska High School, Ryan Paul with you here for exclusive coverage of Hawks basketball. Krenos made the shot, but he's called for a charge. First foul of the Hawks this half is a offensive foul against Connor Krenos. His first one of the game. Ten point lead for the Hawks with just under 14 and a half to play. In regulation. Fourteen, eighteen and ticking. Ten point lead, forty seven thirty seven. Nicholson led all scores at the half with twenty five. He was seven for eight on three pointers in the first half. Jarvis Almerza had seventeen in the first half for Orno. Led their team scoring. Here he is. Spins one around inside and drains it. Here's Connor Krenos now up the floor along the sideline, working against Griffin Sage. Works it around now. Marcus Peters back up top. Here's Elias and Krenos now inside for Bjorklin. Bjorklin size mismatch. He's going to work down low against Blake O'Connor. Now he goes up with the left hand. It was short. Bjorklin couldn't finish there with 13.40 to go. It's an eight-point lead for Chaska on Orno. Omerse in the paint. A lot of contact, a lot of walking, and he threw it right out of bounds. No, it's called a tip. And it'll go in favor of Orno, a substitution for Orno. Number 23, Mitchell Hirschberg checks in. Zach Leah checks in for Marcus Peters. Inbound to Griffin Sage. Here's Omerza. Cole Nicholson not guarding him too closely outside the arc. He's known for his inside abilities rather than his... Sharp shooting. Orno swinging it around here. Down by eight to the Hawks on this Thursday evening from just outside the Minneapolis-St. Paul metro area. Omerza threw it right back in bounds after it almost went out of bounds. Nicholson grabs the miss off of the Griffin Sage miss. Cole Nicholson being unbelievable tonight. MVP so far. He's really locked down Jarvis Thomas and gave him every piece of work that he could have. Here he is now, Nicholson switches off and is guarded by Griffin Sage. Here's a Krenos three ball. Over. That's buried. Connor Krenos for three with a smile on his face. Chesky goes up, double digits. 50 to 39, the Hawks with the lead. Outside, Hirschberg. Wanted Omerza off the roll. Omerza was guarded and now he throws one up as a brick, but Omerza comes away with it. Now it's swung back around for O'Connor. Spencer Getz going to check back in at the next dead ball. Omerza has it at the key. Swings it back around for Hirschberg. Hirschberg off the ball screen. Gives it to Omerza. Omerza is going to go up off the window. Foul and one coming up for Jarvis Omerza. <laughs> 41 to 50. Chaska with the lead. Bjorkland, or... 
Spencer gets the freshman going to check in. And Parker Bjorka will get a rest, a well-deserved rest. With 12.09 to go, it'll be Jarvis Thomas at the free throw line. Had 14 in the first, 17 in the first half. Stands at the line now, trying to pull him. Within eight, he does just that. 12.09 to go from Chaska High School. Ryan Paul with you here for exclusive live coverage of Chaska and Orno on this Thursday night. Connor Crino's right in front of us. Catches this one. Zach Leo with it. Calls out a play. He's got sagged off. Guarded by Prentice. Now it's Guess the freshman to top. Leah with it. Off for Crino's. A long one from Crino's. Money ball. Connor Crino's for three. Connor Crino's heating up after a quiet last couple of games. The junior averaging just under 10 points a contest. Has lit it up here in the second half so far. Omerza wanted to pick and roll. He didn't get it. Instead, it's going to be Colton Cadute pulling up from 15 and burying that one with 11 and a half to go. A nine-point lead by or for Chaska. Now Zach Leah guarded by Prentice in the backcourt. Two Orno players run right into each other. Now Nicholson down low for Elias and goes up, spins it around. It just dropped in and out. The reason you heard all the crowd noise is because I don't know if we caught it on camera. Two Orno defenders. Ran square into each other in the backcourt. Battle ice and went down. And got fouled as he went up with it. So with 11-17 to go here, it'll be Elias at the line for two. First one from the Chaska Senior is up and good. Substitution for Orono. It's Simon Rice checking in. 6'5", junior, averaging 2.1 per game. Caleb Olson, who briefly checked in for El Orno, checks out. Elias in the second one is good. Matt Elias and puts Chaska back up double digits. 55-44 on Orno. Canute right in front of us. Works left to right. Credos three for three. The storyline in this half is Jarvis Thomas takes it to the hole. Or Jarvis Omerza, excuse me. Recently changed his last name. Matt Elias and now brings it up. Over to Leah. Leah to Krinos. Krinos called for one too many steps. It'll be a turnover. Ten fifty-four to go. Fifty-five forty-six lead for Chaska. Scrappy game to this point. It's still a lot of basketball to be played. Eleven fifty to go. Marisol walks over to his coach as the play is running. Wants a play. Could this be a lob set up? Omeris is going to come off. No, nope. it, it was a lob set up as we expected. I, when he walks over to his coach like that and calls up a play, it was called double was the play. Omeris came right off of these roll and wanted a lob. But instead, it was Mitchell Hirschberg who threw it out of bounds and Chaska gets the ball. It'll be Orno who's going to pressure with 10.40 to go down by nine. Immediately, signs of pressure showing here. Nicholson catches it as they break it. Nicholson had a, an open gets down low. He swings it out now for Krinos. Krinos to Leah. Finds Elias. And Elias and takes it inside the arc. Elias and off the glass. Misses it. Spencer gets the offensive board. Swings it out for Krinos. 4-3. Long. Out of bounds. That's off of Orno. Chaska ball. A long three ball from the corner from Krinos. It hit right off the shoulder of Colton Cadut for Orno. And dribbled its way out of bounds. It'll be Chaska ball with 10-21 to go. Nicholson on the baseline, up and spins it in. Beautiful move from Cole Nicholson. Back up to 11 point lead. Here's Kadut for Orno. Off the ball screen. Omerisa works off those ball screens a lot. Here's a three ball from Prentice. He's upset with himself as he misses that three. 10 minutes to go. Omerisa and Nicholson staring each other down at the timeline. Nicholson really has gotten the best of Omerisa tonight. Omeris is still a very talented player. Leah had a shot blocked as he went, went, went in with it. Matt Eliason cleans up the garbage, though, and puts it away for two. Chaska up 59-46 on the number six team in Class 3. The Hawks number nine in Class 4. Beautiful reverse layup by Mitchell Hirschberg for two. Nine and a half to play. 11-point game. Del Orno and Chaska. Foul called. It's going to go against Hirschberg. With 9.23 to go here. Mm -hmm. 
Substitutions across the board. Inbound pass with 9.22. Leah breaks the press for Chaska. There goes Cole Nicholson now on the baseline. Spins it in, misses it. Bjorklund there for the rebound. It goes out of bounds or no ball. Bjorklund falls down on the baseline. Nine, ten to go. Hirschberg playing the guard, guarded by Eliason. Matt Eliason, a supreme defender in the state of Minnesota. Probably one of the best. Chaska blessed to have his abilities. The senior made his presence known last year in that state tournament bid that Chaska posed. Here's a three ball from the top of the key from Hirschberg. That one's good. Mitchell Hirschberg for three points. Timeout on the floor when we return from this full timeout. It's a 59-51 lead for Chaska on Orno. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. This presentation of high school basketball on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network is brought to you by Lenzen Chevrolet Buick, Above and Beyond Marketing Communications, and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab. Welcome back to Chaska High School. Ryan Paul with you here for high school basketball in the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Jarvis Thomas, or Jarvis O'Marissa rather, with that last point, scored number 1,000 in his high school career. Point 1,000 points for the Orno Senior. 8.43 to go here. A nice accomplishment from Orno's star player going to the University of Minnesota when he's done with high school. He grabs the rebound now if the Cole Nicholson miss. Nicholson getting in Omerso's head. He sets a screen, works off of the roll again. It's Hirschberg inside. Shot contested. He gets the rebound, though. Kicks it out now for Simon Rice for three. In and out. Rebound down low. We got a foul. And I don't think the official really knew what he blew the whistle for, so he kind of just made it up. And it's against Orno. And the Orno fans are absolutely livid. Barry Wooler has had issues with this officiating crew tonight. And it isn't getting any better. Here's a Nicholson three. Long. Rebound Eliason. Unbelievable what this Chaska offense or what this Chaska team can do on the offensive boards, on the defensive side of things, and the scrappy and aggressiveness. It's really a treat to watch this team play. Just under eight minutes to go. It's an eight-point lead for Chaska. 59-51. Seven fifty to go. Backing out is Griffin Sage for Orono. Omer's at the top. Wants Hirschberg to come for it. He does. Now he goes away for Simon Rice. A strong pass over for Thomas Lacey. Now Omer's through some contact. Pushes off of Krinos. And a jump ball is called. Probably double fouls there. But... They called a jump ball. I don't know. 7.33 to go. Nicholson took a charge down low. That's number four on Jarvis Omerza. Barry Wohler is still barking at the officials. He's going to be careful. Jarvis Thomas is having a conversation with the official. And now they're going to have to break this up. He's upset. 
and he's going to find a spot on the bench. Barry Wooler and Jarvis Almerza are absolutely lit up. Chask is known for their intensity from the crowd and in the atmosphere at this home gym is unreal. And I think that's probably getting into the head of this Orno team. Seven and a half to go. Zach Lee with it for the Hawks. Crosses over. He's guarded by number 23, Mitchell Hirschberg. A lot of contact. Nothing called. Right in front of us. Chaska working right to left. Here comes Bjorklund now off for Leah. Dumped it inside for Nicholson. Nicholson a mismatch. Goes up with it. Just off the iron. Nicholson falls to the floor. Orno comes away with it. Numbers for the Spartans. Here comes Griffin Sage now. He kicked it. Simon Rice finds it though. And now Thomas Lacey has it. Here comes Hirschberg. 59-51 with just under seven minutes to play. He stepped over and back. A sloppy play from Mitchell Hirschberg. And a turnover. A backcourt violation and a discouraged looking Mitchell Hirschberg will find a seat on the bench next to Jarvis Almerza, who's on the bench with four fouls. Seven or six fifty-two to go. From the Hawks Nest at Chaska High School, Ryan Paul with you here on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Make sure to visit us online. Watch both this game and our hockey team is playing online right now at ChaskaBasketballReport.com. Catch both games of our doubleheader. 61-51. Here comes Thomas Lacey now. Rebound from Colton Kidut. Swinging it inside now for Blake O'Connor. He's going to pull up from 15. That's a good shot. A jumper from Blake O'Connor is good. 61-53 with 6-11 to go. This could get good real quickly, folks. Don't go anywhere. Here's Nicholson inside. Goes up with it. Fouled. Nicholson wanted the exclamation point on his night with a dunk. But instead, he goes up with it and is fouled. 6-0-2 to play. 61-53. Chaska in the bonus here with that foul. Nicholson will have two shots though as he was going up and was fouled as he was shooting. Now some chipping going on between the fans. Across the court. It's a really good setup we have here between Chaska and Orono. Here comes Kadoot. Chaska locking up here. Colton Kadoot with it now. Sorry we lost our microphone there for a second. Here's Blake O'Connor. 5.41 to go. 61-53. Good basketball matchup here. Here's Thomas Lacey now, back over for Prentice. Into the corner now, this is a Griffin Sage three ball. Timeout on the floor, it'll be Barry Wooler who calls timeout, 61-56. A run for Orno when we return. We'll be back with a final 5-18 of basketball action. Good one on our hands, folks. Come back with us. This presentation of high school basketball on the Cheska Hawks Broadcast Network is brought to you by Lens in Chevrolet Buick, Above and Beyond Marketing Communications, and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab. Lens in Chevrolet Buick is a family owned business. Proud to service the Chaska area for the past 35 years. We sell both new and used cars. We got a complete service department with a body shop full service. We believe in community. We support the churches, the schools, the Lions Clubs, the Chamber of Commerce, you name it. We're proud to be a community leader. So
Welcome back to Chaska High School. A beautiful game shaping up for us here. Hawks and Spartans. Good finish coming up with 5.18 to go at 61.56. Lee up the sideline now. Nicholson down low. The battle ice and cleans up. 63.56. Chasco with five minutes to go. Hard screen set. We've lost you there. Sorry if we lost you there momentarily, folks. You didn't miss anything. We're in a timeout here. Sixty-three fifty-nine. The score. From Chaska between Delano or er, Orno and Chaska. Jarvis Thomas or Jarvis Omersa re enters with four fouls. I can't imagine what the Orno crowd, who's already being extremely chippy in the way I've seen some you know, I'm not we've seen some interesting things from the Orno fans tonight and hear more of it. This is gonna get chippy. This is going to get chippy. I got my producer, Max Hannon, sitting right here with me, and I think we're both agreeing on that. This is Zach Lee into the corner for Bjorklund. Now Chastik swinging around with a four-point lead. Omer So, who collected his 1,000th high school career point tonight. Bjorklund now swings around for Krinos. Hawks holding up here. Eliason now takes the baseline. He's going to go up with it off the glass for two. Bad Eliason! A bucket. Orno quickly pushing here. This is Colton Kidoot. Six point lead for the Hawks with 3.42 to go. Here's Omerza now. Strong pass for Kidoot. Crosses over against Eliason. Back up top now it's Omerza. Three and a half to go. Omerza for two. Orno within four. 3.20 to go. Crino's the guard for Chaska. Takes it up. He's guarded by Kadut at the timeline. 65-61. 3.08 to go. Stay right here with us for high school basketball. On the lens in Chevrolet Buick, Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. I'm Ryan Paul with you. Cole Nicholson was up and was contact made contact with. Here comes Colton Kadut. 2.50 to go. 65-61. Omerza inside. Got away with the travel. Went up and was fouled. Sixty-five, sixty-one. A lot of ball there, but I think the referee might have seen some body contact. Two forty-three to go. It's a sixty-five, sixty-one lead. Ryan Paul with you here. Watch all of our games online. The hockey team playing online. We have a double header going on right now. At Chaska, basketballreport.com. Here's Omerza. Pulls it within three. Another good finish. Setting up here on the London Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. We saw a nice finish in Delano the other night. Omerza at the strike for the second of two. It's good. Lee and out. Beats the press quickly. They throw it around. Or no ball. Chaska didn't set up to play correctly there. Two thirty-seven to go. Sixty-five, sixty-three. Two thirty to go. Here's Omerza down low against Nicholson. Goes up, misses it, but he's going to get two free throws. Crowd starting to get a little loud here, so we apologize if they're in your uh, audible. Here's Omerza at the line. Misses it.
223, O'Mara set the line for the second one. He misses it. Rebound, scrap for it. Tie up. Jump ball. Chaska ball. This is going to get chippy. Nicholson gingerly up off the floor. 220, Chaska by two. Nicholson hindering. Her hindered by that right leg at the moment. 216, Zach Lee the guard with a double team in the backcourt. Finds Eliason over for Nicholson now. Eliason back, Bjorklund out of bounds. Or no ball. It's going to be Eliason who's getting a call for the offensive foul. It went out of bounds anyway, so it would have been a turnover. With 2.08 to go, offensive foul by Matt Elias in his second, his, and the team's fifth. Just over two minutes to go. A dandy setting up here from Chaska High School. 65-63. A steal for Chaska. This one's coming the other way, but Orno gets it back. Now it's Omersa in the paint. Throws it down. Jarvis Omersa ties it up with a yam. That might be the spark that Orno needed. We'll see. We got a minute and 45 to go. The crowd is getting into it. Connor Crinos crosses the timeline. The energy is at an all-time high here in Chaska High School. This is Bjorklund for the Hawks in purple. Zach Leah out of bounds. Hawks ball. Prinos to Nicholson here. 123 to go. Nicholson pinned off the backboard by Omersa. Orno's coming the other way. This is Canute. Canute off the window. Orno leads with 116 to go. Timeout on the floor. 67 65. 115 to go. Don't go anywhere. A fantastic finish. Upcoming. We'll be right back. There's a better, brighter day ahead for patients who visit St. Francis Rehabilitative Services. Our wide-ranging, innovative, and compassionate care offers adults and children the services and support that inspire them to a higher quality of life. Among our services is our comprehensive sports medicine program, specializing in preventing, diagnosing, and treating sports-related injuries. We are the exclusive provider of the Chaska, Chanhassen, Jordan, and Shakopee High Schools, helping you return to the activities that fuel your passion. St. Francis Rehabilitative Services with clinic locations in Chaska, Shakopee, and Savage. Schedule an appointment today. The final 115 forthcoming here. It's a two point lead for Orno on Chaska. 67 65. The gym up in arms about who should come away with this one. From Chaska High School, I'm Ryan Paul with you on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. 70 seconds left. Connor Crino's the backcourt. Down by two. Here's Chaska Zachley off for Bjorkland. Now guarded by Omerza. Bjorkland takes the baseline, finds Krinos, steps back, a three ball from Krinos, it's short. Rebound, Matt Eliason, a lot of contact, no foul. Matt Eliason ties the game. <laughs> 45 seconds left. 67, 67. Ryan Paul with you here for the final 35 seconds. Here's Colden Kadut. Swings it around now for Griffin Sage. Griffin Sage guarded by Leah. Chaska and Orno here. Final 25 seconds. Here's Kadu with the key. Screen set by Omersa. Eliason runs right through it. 18 seconds left. Eliason guards Kadu. Omersa now finds it away for O'Connor. Orno swings it back around. 10 seconds to go. Timeout on the floor. Orno. 
We're going to keep it right here. I know we're going to actually go to break. We got our final commercial break of this broadcast. Don't go anywhere. We got 9.0 on the clock. A 67-67 tie. We'll be right back. Lens and Chevrolet Buick is a family-owned business, proud to service the Chaska area for the past 35 years. We sell both new and used cars. We got a complete service department with a body shop full service. We believe in community. We support the churches, the schools, the Lions Clubs, the Chamber of Commerce, you name it. We're proud to be a community leader. So Welcome back for the final nine seconds of action from Chaska High School. Ryan Paul with you here. We're coming out of the Orono timeout. It's a 67-67 tie. And another timeout call. Dana Coleman calls this one. We're going to keep it here. It's a timeout called by Chaska. Both teams, or Orono has set, uh, two timeouts left. Chaska with one. Reminder that this Saturday, you can join us live from the Victoria Recreation Center for Hawks Hockey. Chaska and Chanhassen will be live in the border battle, the first Chaska-Chanhassen game that we'll broadcast this season. We got two hockey games and two basketball games this season for the border battle. And as we come out of the timeout, it's a 67-67 dandy. That we're bringing you here live on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks broadcast network. Reminder, visit ChaskaBasketballReport.com. Watch all of our broadcasts, get more information about us. Glad you've joined us here tonight for what has turned out to be a phenomenal matchup between the number six team in class 3A and the number four team in class, or the number nine team in class 4A. Omerza right in front of us, inbounds it with nine seconds left. The clock runs. This is Colton Canute. Canute takes it to the rack. Blocked by Eliasson. Chaska comes away with it. One second left, Bjorklund, he's it! Time expires, we're on overtime! Bonus basketball upcoming! 67-67! After 36 minutes, Matt Eliasson with the block of the year! With five seconds left, saving the game for Chaska. After regulation, it's 67 all! We'll be back with the final... Well, we'll be back with bonus basketball! When we return from the London Chevrolet Duck Chats Conference Broadcast Network, join us. We'll be right back. Nobody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances, but nothing on them with some counterfeits, but now I'm counting. Bonus basketball upcoming on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks broadcast network. It'll be a four minute overtime period. It's all square at 67. The fouls will stay the same. And each team, Chaska has one timeout, Orno has two. Chaska wins the tip and it's overtime from Chaska High School. Zach Leah for the Hawks. Matt Eliason blocked the Orno shot with five seconds left in regulation to save the game for the Hawks, and that has led us here. As this one goes out of bounds, it's Orno Ball. Three forty-five left. 
Golden Canute against Matt Eliason. Here's Canute, 344 to go. Swings it around now. Finds Griffin Sage, dumps it off for Blake O'Connor. Here's Omerza at the point. Three and a half left, Chaska and Orno in overtime. Our first overtime game in basketball this year. Omerza now throws it down with 317 left. Puts Orno up two. Three minutes and six seconds left. Carino's now all the way, coast to coast, off the glass, misses it. Rebound, it's out of bounds off of Orno, Chaska ball. Three minutes exactly to go. A beautiful finish. Ryan Paul with you, ChaskaBasketballReport.com. Watch all of our broadcasts online all season long. We'll have Chaska basketball for you. From the beginning to the end, here's Connor Crinos now on the Chaska Hawks broadcast network. It's a Cole Nicholson three. Rims in and out. Nicholson with six to six to start tonight. Matt Eliason, I don't know how he does it, but he got the ball back. For Chaska, here's Leah. Eliason inside B. Oakland. He goes up. Off the window. Two. Tie game. Matt Eliason set that whole thing up. And as we go across the two and a half minute mark in overtime, 69-69. Here's a jumper from about 15. Connor Crino snags the rebound. It's Zach Leah assisting that one. Here comes Matt Elias. The Hawks with a chance to take the lead. Nicholson now to Bjorklund. Bjorklund goes up with it after the shot fake. Misses oh, uh, Jarvis Omerso with the rebound. Two minutes and eight seconds left. Foul as Colton Canute entered. He'll go to the line for two. With 2.03 to go, we will be in the bonus the rest of the way for both teams. The foul was called on the act of shooting, so it'll be two free throws for Colton Kadut. 15.7 points of contest coming into this one. He misses the first one. An overtime extravaganza from Chaska High School. Kadut misses number two. Rebound by Omerisa offensively. Two minutes to go. 69-69. Orno's going to hold up. Kadut with it here. Guarded by Eliason right in front of us. Swung across now. Thomas Lacey now over for Omerisa. He takes the paint. Omerisa spins around. He's had four fouls for about half of the second half. And now all of overtime. He's yet to foul. Or collect the fifth foul. Zach Leah, Eliason, Nicholson. Nicholson got the better of Omerisa in the first half, and it was pretty even in the second half and beyond. Now Bjorklund, a spin move, finds Krinos, a three. This is off. Rebound, Bjorklund. Nicholson now. Hesitation, Zach Leah. As it was tipped, it was tipped by Omerisa. I don't know what the Orno fans are screaming for. Zach Leah rolls it in for two. Jasper with the lead. 106 to go. 60 seconds left. Omerisa inside. Kicks out for Kadut. A three ball. It's off. Air ball. Rebound offensively by Thomas Lacey. Now Orno's going to kick it back out. 51.6 left. Jarvis Omerisa holds up here with 45 seconds left. 71 69. Here comes Kadut. Off now for Blake O'Connor, who's going to give it away for Griffin Sage. 38 seconds left. Hawks with a two-point lead. And now it's tied. 71-71. Zach Leah with 30 seconds left. Does Chaska hold for the last shot? I think they should. Bjorklund now for Chaska. Eliason, 20 seconds left. All square at 71. 14 seconds. 71-71, Zach Lee right in front of us. Hearts are racing here. Now Nicholson with five. Nicholson with four. He pulls up from three ball range. It's no good. Rebound Eliason. He goes back up with it. No call. We're going to double overtime. 71-71. Wow. Wow.
Wow, that's all I can say. Seventy one at seventy one. Four minutes will play again. See who can get the best of this one. We're glad you've joined us. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody. Join us here tonight live on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. It's a seventy one seventy one tie after one overtime period. We're headed to the second overtime period. With four minutes left, it's Chaska and Orno. With four minutes in this overtime, it's Chaska and Orno. The gym, this might be the most intense I've ever seen. And I must say, there was a section quarterfinal game two years ago between Chaska and Prior Lake, I believe. That was extremely tense. I think we went to overtime in that game, maybe even double overtime. But nothing like here we go tonight. It's going to be a jump ball at center for the third time this evening. Four minutes to go, 71-71. Omerza against Bjorklund. Omerza with four fouls. He beat Bjorklund off the dot. And now Chaska wins the opening tip in this double overtime. Ryan Paul and with you here for Hawks basketball on the Chaska Hawks broadcast network. Omerza gets away with a reach. It would have been number five on Omerza and I think you're probably hearing a handful of Chaska fans screaming. Bjork, or Momersa has gotten away with a handful of fouls since he's collected that fourth. 71-71, Nicholson going to go to the line. He had 25 in the first half. Hit his six, first six three-pointers of the night. Momersa, or Nicholson misses number one. Three forty-six in this double overtime. Good, Chaska leads. Three forty-five to go. Hawks and Spartans. Three thirty-nine. Here's a head fake three from Griffin Sage. Now he gives it away for Thomas Lacey. Now Jarvis Omerza. Headliner tonight, besides Cole Nicholson for Chaska. Omerza has it now. University of Minnesota signee, senior, 6'8". Back up top for Colton Cadute, a fellow senior. Omerza, ball screen, air ball by Colton Cadute. Hawks ball. Head coach Barry Wooler is in the referee's ear, and it's not the first time he's been in the referee's ear tonight. Everybody's been in the referee's ears tonight, as is generally happens with games this close. Here we are on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Remember, if you want to donate to us, visit ChaskaBasketballPort.com. We're completely self and community funded. Here's Bjorklund outside. ChaskaBasketballPort.com is the web address. Zach Leah fades away, misses. Hawks still with a one-point lead. That could be the game changer if it's only a one-point lead. Zach Leah comes away with this one. 2.45 to go in double overtime. Ryan Paul with you. Follow me on Twitter, at RyanPaul21. Connor Krinos for Chaska. Timeout on the floor. It's Dana Coleman calling this one. A full timeout. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere on the lens in Chevrolet Buick. Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. This presentation of high school basketball on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network is brought to you by lens in Chevrolet Buick. Above and Beyond Marketing Communications, and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab.
237 to go. Hawks and Spartans in double overtime. All square at 70 or no, at 72-71 lead for the Hawks. Here's Nicholson. Jarvis Omerza has been playing on four fouls for about 20 minutes now. Here comes Nicholson inside against Omerza. Another contact foul. Nothing calls. Nicholson finds a way to squeeze it in there though. And now a foul. I think we might have gotten a technical. We're trying to decipher what's going on here. A technical foul against Bjorklund. We're trying to figure out what's going on. It was a technical against Cole. I have my producer, my ear, Max Hannon, and is producing this evening. But now we're trying to figure out what's going on. There's some confusion on the floor. With 2.18 to go, there's confusion. Chaska has a three-point lead. Technical on Cole Nicholson is the call. Not sure why. I missed it. You guys might have seen it on the broadcast. Here's Colton Canute at the line. First one is good. For the second one, Kadut missed it. Orno will get the ball, and after the timeout, head coach Barry Wooler wants to talk things over. We'll be right back at the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Don't go anywhere. We've got double overtime finishing up when we return. There's a better, brighter day ahead for patients who visit St. Francis Rehabilitative Services. Our wide-ranging, innovative, and compassionate care offers adults and children the services and support that inspire them to a higher quality of life. Among our services is our comprehensive sports medicine program, specializing in preventing, diagnosing, and treating sports-related injuries. We are the exclusive provider of the Chaska, Chanhassen, Jordan, and Shakopee High Schools, helping you return to the activities that fuel your passion. St. Francis Rehabilitative Services with clinic. Welcome back to Chaska. We've just got word that the technical foul against Cole Nicholson was assessed seconds ago was due to a delay of game. Official came over and explained to us that there had already been a warning assessed to the Chaska team, which is accurate. And there was a delay of game call against Nicholson for Chaska, which constituted a technical foul. 218 in overtime and double overtime right in front of us. It's Griffin Sage who inbounds for Colton Canoot. 216 to go. Sage with it. Top of your screen. Now it's back for Omersa. Omersa hands it to Canute. Off the ball screen. A three. It's good. Orno leads. 75, 74. Two minutes and three seconds in double overtime. Nicholson. In front of his bench, gives it for Bjorklund now. Bjorklund needs something to do with it. He takes it inside. Bjorklund against a lot of contact. Now Elias in, a no-look pass. Bjorklund, he mishandled it out of bounds. Or no ball. Bjorklund had a, has having a tough night controlling the basketball. And his struggles continue here as he loses this one out of bounds and gives the ball back to Orno with a minute and 45 to go in double overtime. Ryan Paul with you here with Chaskox Broadcast Network. Elias in, called for a reach. Neither team has a timeout left. That's going to keep the pace moving a little bit. I mean, we could be here for all night, theoretically. Both teams with eight fouls. It's the fourth foul against Eliason. He needs to be careful. Matt Eliason is an integral part to this Chaska team holding on here. The first one of the one and one is good from Griffin or from Colton Canute rather. A two-point lead for Orno. Second one is good. Three-point lead. Here's Connor Krinos. Guarded by Kadut. With a minute and 30 to go. 90 seconds in double overtime. Dana Coleman calls time. The scoreboard, the reason I said that nobody had timeouts left was because the scoreboard showed that nobody had timeouts left, but I think because we're in double overtime, they they really can't do anything about that. So, it's a full timeout called by Dana. We'll be right back on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Nobody 
pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances for nesting on them with some counterfeits, but now I'm counting. The final minute and 28 seconds of double overtime from Chaska High School on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. It's a Chaska full timeout. A three point lead for Orno. Chaska led for the majority of the game. Parker Bjork or Cole Nicholson are the better of Jarvis Thomas in the first half and then they kind of evened out after Thomas started to pick up the intensity. He's been playing with four fouls for probably roughly 25 minutes now. I mean, he's and he's gotten away with a lot. These officials, I don't, I mean, I can't really, I'm biased obviously in a way, but there has been a lot let go when players have had four fouls. We'll see if the same is for Matt Elias and for Chasku on the floor with four fouls. Zach Leah catches the ball. With a minute and 25 and ticking. And double overtime. Nicholson now takes the paint against Lomerza. And one, nothing called. He goes up and is good for two. Chaska fans are up in arms about the no call there. Now Nicholson reaches. Eliason also playing defense. Foul on the floor. If it's against Eliason, that's not good. No, if it's against Zach Leah. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's not good, but it's good. One oh six. The gym is. Uh, you have to be here, really. Thank you for joining us from wherever you are. Intense. That's uh, that is the word. The first free throw is off of the fingers of Griffin Sage. It is good. With a minute and six seconds left, it's a two point lead for the Orono Spartans. Ryan Paul with you here. The second one is up and it's good. Three point lead. 106, Connor Greeno's in the backcourt for Chaska. Chaska played with this team for the majority of the second half. Haven't seen much of Marcus Peters, Andrew Fix, or Spencer Getz. Chaska with 51, a timeout on the floor. It's Dana Coleman whistling for this one. A full timeout by Chaska's Dana Coleman will stay right here. Again, thank you for joining us this evening. My name is Ryan Paul. I'm glad that you've chosen to tune in with us on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. If you want to learn more about what I do and what we do, go to ChaskaBasketballReport.com. A great story that we've built here. It started over two years ago when I was in the freshman basketball gym, recording and taking stats for their games. 50.3 to go here. If you want to donate, we are completely community funded. The help of sponsorships. The school is not allowed to financially support us. They, uh, they do a great job supporting us on social media and other outlets. But if you do want to donate, we really appreciate it. Your donation goes 100% to the growth and expansion of this Chaska Hawks broadcast network. You can do that by using PayPal online or sending in a check or cash. Information on everything that we do on ChaskaBasketballReport.com. For those of you that are tuning in for the first time tonight, we're pleased to have you with us. 50.3 right in front of us. It's Matt Eliason. Jarvis Thomas has been playing on four fouls for about 25 minutes now. He stayed in the game, in the game for head coach Barry Wooler. Here's Cole Nicholson. Going to spot up a three. It's no good. Rebound. Connor Crinos. He steps back. Goes into the foul. And he's fouled. A heads-up play from Connor Crinos. The Oriole fans are not having it. Barry Waller's not having it. Connor Crinos with a heads-up play. He's got three free throws ahead of him. Connor Crinos in line for three. Carino's first one is good. We've got 38 flat to play. The second one is good. Timeout on the floor. It is Barry Wooler calling this one. Reminder, folks, join us on Saturday for Chaska Hawks Hockey from Chanhassen. It's the border battle, the first of the year. 
Should be a great matchup. Then next week, we've got some more basketball action for you. Say, fans, where are you watching CHBN from tonight? Tweet us a picture by using hashtag CHBN. Tag me, at RyePaul21. Make sure you show us some love on Twitter from where you're watching. We're glad everybody is tuned in this evening. It's a record crowd, I'd imagine, or one of the best crowds of the season at Chaska High School tonight. The whole gym is on their feet. And we are here live on the London Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. The only place that you can watch every single Chaska Boys basketball game and Chaska Boys hockey game. Visit ChaskaBasketballReport.com to learn more. Thirty-eight seconds left. Connor Crino is at the free throw line. He's got one more free throw of his three after getting fouled on the three-point shot. It's up and good. Connor Crino is three for three. Clutch. The gym rises to their feet for the final thirty seconds of double overtime. Holding Canute all tied at seventy-nine. One of the best games of the year in the MSHS cell so far. Coming tonight on this Thursday evening on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick, Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. 15 seconds, Canute holding it for the last shot. He looks at Jarvis Omerza who stands parallel him. Now Omerza has it. He's going to take the paint with four fouls. Omerza in. He misses it. Offensive rebound by O'Donnell. He goes out of bounds. Hawks ball! Barry Waller still is, I don't even know, these referees, give them props, they've taken a ton, a ton of lip tonight from the fans, from the from the teams, here's Connor Krinos, as time expires for the win, it's no good, triple overtime, Seventy nine, seventy nine. after two overtimes, We'll be right back! Welcome back to Chaska High School. Ryan Paul with you here. We've got four minutes. It's triple overtime. The Hawks and the Spartans. It's all tied at 79. It's been a hell of a game. Thank you for joining us. We're getting ready to get going here for the fi or what could be the final four minutes. I'm not really sure. Seventy-nine, seventy-nine, triple overtime. The third jump ball. Eliasson gets it for Chaska. They're still going right to left. Leah slows it up. Four more minutes of action. Here's Eliasson. Nicholson. No good. Three thirty. Seventy nine seventy nine. Triple overtime. Omerza gets the ball off of a jump stop by Blake O'Connor. Three thirteen to go in triple overtime. We're glad you've joined us here. Hope you'll join us again. There's Sage inside, it's no good. That's going to be off of Orno, but Crino saves it either way. And Chasky gets it with three minutes to change. 
Krenos. Eliason. Tweet us a, follow me on Twitter, at RyanPaul21. Tweet us a picture of where you're watching from. Here's a steal by Orno. A turnover from Chess. Gets Thomas Lacey up ahead to Kadut. He makes it. It's a two-point lead for Orno. Unaware of the timeout situation, they've apparently lost the capability to put it up on the scoreboard, so we're not sure. I would assume each team gets an extra timeout for each overtime. I'm not sure the MSHSL rules. This is Nicholson inside. Goes up with it. Offensive foul. That, is that five? And Nicholson's hurt. Is that five on... That's only two on Nicholson. Holy moly. Offensive foul and Nicholson is hurt. Two twenty one after a brief stoppage, we are gonna clean up the basketball floor. It's assistant AD Elise Lisa Newton. Back on the floor. She cleaned up some blood earlier. The game staff, the referees, the athletic directors really getting their work in here tonight. Thank you for joining us. For Hawks basketball, it's Orno and Chaska. Omerson gets the offensive board. 2.06 to go. Hawks and Spartans here in triple overtime. The first overtime game Chask has played this year. Two minutes to go. Kadut's working it around. He's guarded by Eliason and picked up his fifth foul. Eliason's out. Matt Eliason to a standing ovation. We'll check out after Dana Coleman makes the selection for a replacement. It'll be Marcus Peters who has a big role to fill. Peters, who started the game, saw limited action in the second half and beyond. The 5'11 senior had a season high 10 against Egan earlier this year at home. He enters now in a huge situation for Chaska. Orno takes a three point lead. 82-79, 154, it's a two possession game. One fifty-two. Here's Nichols, or here's Leah, rather for Chaska, the sophomore. Now it's the junior Crinos. What a matchup tonight between Omerza and Nicholson down low. Zach Leah spins one in for two. Hawks within a pair. Ninety-three seconds left. Orno's going to be as slow as they slow and methodical as they can here. Here comes Kadut, guarded by Peters. Now Omersa spinning against Nicholson. Omersa inside, kicks it away for O'Connor. Now it's away for Kadut against Peters. Peters plays him well. Krenos comes the other way. Now Peters, a lot of contact, nothing called. Found away for Omersa. He missed the layup. Cole Nicholson the rebound. 65 seconds left. Krenos, a three ball. Short, trigger happy. 60 seconds left, 83-81. Ball wound up right in my hands. Hawks ball. Dana Coleman wants a timeout when we come back. On the lens in Chevrolet Buick, Chaska Hawks broadcast network. It's an 83-81 basketball game. We will be right back. Don't go anywhere. This presentation of high school basketball on the Chaska Hawks broadcast network is brought to you by Lenzen Chevrolet Buick, Above and Beyond Marketing Communications, and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab. Welcome back to Chaska. It's an 83-81 ball game in a game that feels like it started yesterday. We had the quickest first half of all time. It was a 21-minute 
first half. And now as we approach the 9 o'clock local time here in Chaska, Minnesota, the teams that are separated by Lake Minnetonka, a.k.a. about 30 minutes, are facing off here for the first and only time. Orno, number 6 out of Class 3A. Chaska, number 9. Out of Class 4A. 52 and a half. Marcus Peters right in front of us. We'll inbound it. Parker Bjorklin breaks. On the floor for Chaska, it's Peters, Leah, Nicholson, Bjorklin, and Krinos. 48 seconds left. Hawks down by two. Nicholson now guarded by Omerza. Out of bounds. Hawks ball. And it's safe to say that Griffin Sage didn't agree with that call. Forty-two point nine. Omerza, Jarvis Omerza, been playing on four fouls for darn near half the game. He picked up his fourth foul about halfway through the second half and has been on the court ever since. Now Nicholson drives another foul. It's not called, and now they have to foul with thirty-five seconds left. Well, how do you miss that? I mean, Nicholson went up and was mugged by Jarvis Omerza. See, now this is what the pro you're probably hearing a lot of Chaska fans screaming behind us, and there's not much we can do about it. But why it is, is because Jarvis Omerza, as I've reiterated numerous times, has been playing on four fouls for about, I would say, 30 minutes of game time now. And he's not left the court. The free throw is missed by Griffin Sage. The senior guard stands at 6'2 and is averaging just under 10 points a game. The biggest shot of the night is this 35.2 the free throw up it is no good rebound by Chaska 30 seconds left Double, triple overtime Ryan Paul with you on the lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks broadcast network here's Cole Nicholson in what's an instant classic it's not even finished yet Nicholson now here's for Krinos a hawk shot it's up it's no good Marcus Peters the rebound he's fouled there we go Jarvis Thomas is gone Jarvis Omerza, they finally get him. Jarvis Omerza fouls out with 15.3 to go in double overtime. He played on four fouls for about 30 minutes. And now he checks out. 15.3. Chaska. Down by two. A timeout on the floor. We're going to hear Max, go to, go to this camera here real quick. I want to show you what it's like right now from our view. Here we are. This is us. Here's our view right now. There's the scoreboard. This is the only time I've ever done this, and I'm not sure I will again. There's Max. He's a little bit of an inside look since we have nothing else really to do. Here we go, the final 15.3 of overtime, of triple overtime here. There's the Chaska students, and we are getting ready to get going here for double overtime. You can switch it back now. Or triple overtime. It's an 83-81 game. Marcus Peters, the 5'11 senior for Chaska with 15.3 to go. The first one is missed. Chaska down by two. They needed that one. It, now their best chance after this play is a one-point deficit. 15.3, the senior at the line for the second one. It's no good. Parker Bjork on the offensive rebound. He loses the ball. Chaska needs a timeout. I don't think they have one. It's a jump ball. It's going to be in favor of Orno. They're going to have to foul. A timeout on the floor. Called by Barry Wohler of Orno. And we will return after that in what is seriously an instant classic. I hope you've enjoyed all of it as much as we have. We'll be right back for the final 10 seconds of triple overtime on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick 
Broadcast Network right after this. A word from our sponsors. There's a better, brighter day ahead for patients who visit St. Francis Rehabilitative Services. Our wide-ranging, innovative, and compassionate care offers adults and children the services and support that inspire them to a higher quality of life. Among our services is our comprehensive sports medicine program, specializing in preventing, diagnosing, and treating sports-related injuries. We are the exclusive provider of the Chaska, Chanhassen, Jordan, and Shakopee High Schools, helping you return to the activities that... Welcome back to Chaska. We've got 10 seconds left. Chaska will be fouling. They're down two. Marcus Peters went over two at the line. They're going to have to foul. They get it away, though. And they foul. They foul Colden Kadut, an above average free throw shooter. He will have two free throws. We have exceeded the 10 plus foul mark for both teams. It'll be the double bonus both ways. Marcus Peters spent about an hour of clock time, of daytime on the bench, and that could have contributed to the fact why he went over through the line. Orno by three. Eight seconds left. The Hawks dominated for most of the first half, and then after this, it's, after that, it got tied up. The second free throw is good. That's a game changer. No fouls from Orno. The Hawks need a big one here. Leah with six seconds left. Five seconds left. Nicholson's going to pull up from 24. It's off, and Chask is going to fall to Orno tonight. That's going to do it. On the lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network in an instant classic. It's a final in triple overtime. Orno, 85. Chaska, 81. Thank you for joining us tonight, folks. On the behalf of my cameraman, Andrew Newman, my producer, Max Hannonen, I am Ryan Paul saying so long this evening. We're glad you've been able to join us for this presentation of high school basketball on the lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. It's been a real charm to share this night with you folks. We hope you'll join us on the next for the next game here at ChaskaBasketballReport.com. Enjoy your night, folks. The Hawks fall this evening, 85-81 to Orono. Have a good night, folks. Enjoy the upcoming weekend. We'll see you next or we'll see you Saturday for Chaska and Chanhassen in boys hockey. Have a good night, folks. Sorhawks.